channel, welcome to Path of Geeks. You join us for another unboxing video. Uh, it's another asset drop video. So this is the third of our asset drops for this month. And this is the monsters, because it's the bi-monthly monsters time. Um, so at the end of this video, I'll be able to show you the last two months ago. One, the giant orc. Um, but for now, let's get this bad boy open. I'm curious as to what we're going to get. Because mm. it is... Well, so we've got diorama stuff. There's no, uh, I don't think there's something like that. Yeah, there's something like that. So, cool. What is this? It's a gruesome grotto. You can smell the uh... MDF burning. Mm. So, this looks like it's war bases, the same company that did the, uh, the diorama last month, the one with the carnival stuff. So we have Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. <laughs> Don't know where we're going with this. Okay. Uh, we have Toad King Casting's um, Christmas sock. Uh, stocking sock. Christmas stocking. Even said okay. it on my tool. We've got two little, two little sherbet pots. pots. They're good though. Oh, they? Yeah. We have Mars Red. Um, Abomination Gore. And lava orange from the uh, army, army painted war paints. <clears throat> I do like war paints, they're good. This looks like snow. You have a little pot of snow. I can see cool. where this is going. Yeah. And then. Is that it? This is the model. Oh, looks like it. So we have. <clears throat> Legends of Signum. Never heard of Legends of Signum. Uh, the Krampus, uh, which is the German evil Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> I think it's German. Uh, Krampus Plezinikl. Um, whoa, mm. cool. Right, so we're going through an evil Christmas themed monster. Cool. This should be interesting. Yeah. Be which hopefully, you know, what is it? It's November, isn't it? Yes. It'll be January for the next one, so yeah. Makes oh, sense. I'm, I might do this as like, if I'm getting them for Christmas, I might do it as like a Christmas special. Hey. Finishing now. Okay, so we have the model there. That is its base. I don't know what this is from. Signum, I've never heard of it. Legends of Signum. That's a game I've never actually heard of. Right, okay. So, what we'll do. I'll have a look in the painting guide. So, we have the Krampus Plazinickel. Is that how you say it? Plazinickel? Anyone, the best games. That's some Carl Wilder miniatures in the Ukraine. Uh, Gruesome Grotto. Snow Basing Scatter from War Bases UK. So this is Christmas Tree Wreath by Serious Play. Tree and Wreath? There's a wreath in there as well. Yes. Alright, cool. Yeah, there. Um, by Serious Play. <coughs> Exclusive Christmas Stockings by Tolkien Castings. Abomination Gore, Eye Painter, uh, Mars Red and Lava Orange. All there is the contents. And we're going to guide this for the Krampus' Red Cloak. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, there's a finish. Uh, I hope there'll be a finished picture of him in there. I have no idea how he's meant to look. There's some finishing guidelines in there. Shall we read? Um, is it Pelsnickel he's meant to Pelsnickel. be? Pelsnickel. That sounds better than my sort of. Pelsnickel. I just, think, I just keep looking thinking Pumpernickel. <laughs> or. I don't know. Yeah. See if this is straightforward enough to figure out. So we've got resin, so that when he's cutting and washing. Uh, oh, God, he's back. <laughs> uh, um, uh, 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 that's his sack, I think. <laughs> uh, face, maybe? Yeah, so that's his face because he's got a hoofs. beard on it. Hoofs? He's got hoofs. He's got hoofs. And he's got a thing. Like a hook. Kind of and he's got a tail. 
and uh, whatever that is. Is that power? Or... It's hard to tell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bizarro. Right, so what we're going to have to do is obviously cut off all the parts, give this a rinse in soapy water to get off any of the uh, resin. Um, I'll also put the grotto together. Um, have a look at that. So, uh, we'll be back in a minute after we've washed this and clipped off all the non essential pieces. Okay, so while those parts are drying, let's have a look at this um, diorama set. Cool. So cool. Oh, the smell of burning wood. I don't know if that's weird though. It's weird that that's just that little bit in it. Right. Okay. So three. Three pieces. And that's the bottom. That's our vertical art of it. And what else we've got? That's not a fireplace. That's good. I feel like this needs even more going into it uh, being called Bruce from Grotto. I don't know what. Something dark and yeah. foreboding. Dark and foreboding. I like dark and foreboding. <laughs> These are, you can always see these are coming off without any actual issues. Uh, I haven't to cut any of them. I was a bit worried about some of these, but no, they are just fine. Don't appear to be. So, there's the last words. You can see, I don't appear to be tearing, and now I'll snap. Just be careful. There we go. So all I've got to go off is that really. Uh, there's no instructions. But we can tell that this is the fireplace and chimney. And that's obviously the outer side. Uh, And that's the inner side. Okay. Yeah, I think it's might be missing a couple of parts. No. Like maybe those. For instance. Then we have this is all like Tudor style. Um, don't what you call it. You've got the wood on the outside. Yeah, Tudor. This is like Tudor. Tudor. Mm. <laughs> it's not like Tudor style. I don't know what you call it. Tudor. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I feel about a bus. So I have to speed around the city. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called the bus that couldn't slow down. So, I would imagine that's the back wall, because that's the only complete wall, that's the windows, the said back wall. It's like an interior wall as well. Okay. Can I also get some... What's that one? Oh yeah. So it's like a double wall. Is it? Is it? Unless it that like... goes at the front and... Goes to the back, I don't know. Well, this bit's ruined. Ruined. Oh, ruined. It's ruined. It's not ruined, no. It's ruined. And then we've got this bit, which is 
roof section. So that's roof. Um, what else have we got? That puts very roofy. Yeah, so those are the two sides of the roof with a gap in the middle for the um, chimney. And we have. Yeah, so it must have interior wall and exterior wall. That's fine. So those two pieces are for the front there. And then there's a small little bit, so there should be another small little bit somewhere. Yeah. Small little bit. So is that right? Oh yeah, so weird. Yeah, so that's interior, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, okay, got it. And there'll be a corresponding little bit of uh tutoring. with that. Uh, that's the back bit. That's tuning into that. That's that's what it's bit is uh, yeah there we go. That's the interior wall for that. And there should be two of those then I would have thought to go on either side of the um, Yeah, so that one, no, no, that one, and that, and then that, okay, okay. and then we have the same one, maybe it's the other end up, so. that one, that one, and that, and then that, that, and that, so all these wall sections are three parts. Got your outside Tudor in, you got a mid wall, and then you've got an inside wood panel. I'm sorry, <laughs> the outside Tudoring. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm going with that one. <laughs> I'm going to give that a building, got Tudoring. <laughs> well, you're going to mince up to it in tights. Yes, I am with a rough and everything. <laughs> today tutoring house I am indeed <laughs> right um shall we stick this thing together <laughs> yes I think we better add before we completely lose the plot insanity sort of uh, <laughs> where hast thou put the glue I don't know what <laughs> <It's very laughs> to glue or not to glue that is the question indeed oh well it's not really a question it's more of a necessity <laughs> we don't glue it's not going to go together <laughs> right, so we're going to mix down this. We're just going to pause the camera where we sort ourselves out with glue and all this stuff that we need and tone around the sandwich down a little bit. Mm -hmm. See you in a minute. Yeah, so we're going to start with the interior walls. Put some glue on this one already. So that's going to go on there. I don't think it matters which end this goes. <laughs> So we'll go that way. There we go. Then we have put one of these out. But this piece is going next to the chimney in. Like uh, that. All right. Oh, put it around. Put it around. Don't I? Like so uh, we have that's the interior bit, isn't it? We have this little bit. I think this is where he lives, or do you think this is what he's done to a house? Sorry? Do you think this is like the Krampus's house? Or do you think this is what he's done to a house? I think this is his house, because it was it being called the grotto. His house. His house. Yeah. His house? His house. <laughs> Cram house uh, Krampus. House Krampus. Nee, 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 nee. 
<laughs> As you can see, the insanity <laughs> hasn't been toned down at all. No. No. That would be a great house in uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Winter's coming. <laughs> yeah, so that bit with the two pegs is the top part. So I shall get that bit on. Mm, don't think there's glue on this, but it's got a bit of uh, poshness. Poshness on it. Yerk. A lot of them. interlocking parts here. <laughs> mm. in. You're in at the bottom middle bits, not in. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, let's put the other side on. Put the other side on. <clears throat> and put the other part of wall on that to it, I think. I'm not sure if they help push these two bits into place. And then I'll put the front of the fireplace on. He says. See if it works. <laughs> Both sides of the limp a little bit on, to be fair. Right. I'll put this little bit of the front on as well. Not the same place. I'm not worrying too much about it being too much glue on. Uh, I intend to put some stuff on the floor to make it a bit more gruesome. I don't know what. Plus these walls are going to get covered by um, the interior panel and in the outside <coughs> tutoring. <laughs> it is probably called something. I think it's Tudor style, but it'll have a name like a wood. A wood name. Wooden panel. Even. It'll have a name like wood. <laughs> is it not beading or something? Beading. Sure, I've heard that term. Somewhere. I've heard that term. You see why I never became an architect. <laughs> okay, so that's that bit in. Now these two pieces. I'm hoping it doesn't matter which way around these go. They're um because of the way the because yeah, of the way the uh, fireplace comes out, the, the parts of the fireplace. Oh right, okay. The other parts can't reach. I feel like there should be a top bit. There is a top bit. I've seen it. That bit. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was uh, like a bit. Was oh, that like the mantelpiece? Yeah. Ah, I got you. This bit, this bit. <laughs> Very fluffy. Fortunately, I don't think that's stuck down. The thing about PVA, you can still manoeuvre stuff. There we go. Oh, great. I fell out. It's a bad thing about PVA, it doesn't stick. For ages. It's also the good thing about PVA. Right, uh, yeah, so this bit here 
is the mantle because there's a little I know it's from all the glue in it, I didn't see it before, there's a little gap in the uh, actual bricked section. Yeah, no, that's brick. Uh -huh. or, is it, or is it stone? I thought it was stone actually. Stone, yeah. Stone. It's not like really brick. Yeah. But that in theory then should go in there. Like so. But it can't come in. Why? Because that has to go in first. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a little gap behind it. So that's the interior wood panelling. The other side in. And then we can put the mantle on. Which is why there was a gap behind it. That's actually pretty neat, I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Right, so the rest of the interior panelling. I'm sure it'll be a complete joy to put together. <laughs> you say that with excitement. I say that with trepidation. Ooh. Yeah, there's like little things in that actually that might work well. So we put that one in. Oh yeah, it does work well. Oh god, my worry was for no reason at all. <laughs> Bizarre. See? Ah, there's you, panicking. Totally unintentional. <laughs> and the last bit, it's not here. Having the double walls and stuff mm. because the inside's really papery, usually. Yeah. So when you do an interior, you've got one side which is quite glossy, and the inside's really papery. And even though you cover it in the stuff, the mm. paper side's always really pain in the ass to paint. That's pretty good, actually. Mm. <laughs> right. Uh, tutoring time. Something I never thought to say. It's tutoring time. <laughs> it's like if the thing had been around in the 15, 1600s. <laughs> I'm just not out of the image of the thing then with the rough and everything. <laughs> oh, Weird. Dear. That's bad. Mm. these corners with some glue on. I don't want to overdo it on these bits. Presume which way did it go? Arrows down I think. Presume it goes like that. I think that's right. Mm, yeah. I think so. And we'll do these. Back. You know another thing that you could do? Cool. You know that where the windows are? Yeah. You could get some um like neck you know like neck curtains. Yeah. You know, playing netting. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, and kind of like use those as like a a curtain cover or something. The back. 
talking about this, not the house. Our house. Not our house, no. no I mean, right. this little. We're still talking about. Yeah. Some netting. Yeah, just a couple of windows, kind of thing, to make it look like curtains. I like the idea of having curtains. It doesn't necessarily have to be netting. I could find some old, I don't know, um, bed sheets or something that you could cut up and use that as curtain material or something. Thin. For it to be, we want a really thick material. You need it pretty thin uh, for mm -hmm. it to look right at this scale. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you know, the sheets that you put on the bottom of the bed, yeah, yeah. Like the divan sheets, you could cut one of them up. Not, not the one we've got on the bed at the moment. No, no, I think we'd notice if we had, like, bits cut out of that. You say that, in a couple of weeks' time, you're going, oh, what happened to that? I've got <laughs> really big moths, but the si <laughs> size of squirrels. Uh, I don't know why I chose squirrels. Squirrels? <laughs> moths yeah. the size of squirrels. squirrels. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> the rest of this inside is one full there. Right, so there we go, that's that's the main part. Now it's just the roof. Are you going to be wanting to put that on? Or do you not want to do the model first and then put it inside? And... It's going to give me quite a bit of room. Could do, for now. There's two slots there. Push that on. Just so it helps, because there's two things to, so that'll hold the walls together. Oh, right, okay. I mean, we've got three layers, I mean, don't normally get that on an MDF model, so that's kind of good because it's holding itself together. All those layers. Put that on there. So, yeah, we'll glue those eventually, but for now, I'm going to leave them freestyle. That way I can get inside, mm. do some modeling. Uh, to show you the tree, because it doesn't really open the box, there is a nice little tree, it's cool. Oh. It does need some colouring on it, I think, some tinsel. Mm. Uh, I'm making it gory, like, like I said, intestines and skulls. Uh, you could just put some pipe cleaner around it. Actually, that's another thing that you could do. Pipe cleaner, yeah. In, in the house, you could put just some pipe cleaner so that's it looks like tinsel. tinsel. Oh, you're going to wear all the tread secrets. <laughs> And then the wreath was just this, and you said about putting little red berries on it and stuff. Well, yeah, you know, just kind of like. Where's the wreath going to go? A wreath would go over the fire generally. Over the fire? Yeah, I mean, not too close to the fire, but like above the fire. I don't want go on a door. There's no door there, that was no, the door's yeah. gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll probably go with the fireplace, then, like, so. That's where I'm going to put the stockings. Yeah, the stockings will go over the fireplace. Like, I'll fit on bowl. Hmm? I'm not going to both fit. Well, let's have a look. These are the stockings. Well, can I have a look at the fireplace? Yeah, it's, just, it's the width of the wreath. Will it not go above the fireplace? I suppose the stockings could go beside it. Well, that's, yeah, they, they generally go above where the fire is. Mm. Or either yes. side, just hanging down. I also need some coal. Mm. Right. So... The Krampus should be dry by now. There we've uh, mm -hmm. completed his hideaway. He's he's a uh, grotto. What's this for then? Is that do you reckon just for putting the glue on? Probable. If you don't have a stick, a then yeah, using. I bet it will be. You know. That's all it's for. I can't see it. As I can't see it being anything else. Part of the actual model. What? Yeah, goes along there. Ah, it's the... It's that bit, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, though. I like that, because it rounds it off. So that's actually just off the camera. You can see how it goes between the... Because I thought there's a bit of a weird gap there. Yeah, it? just... It's very, very hard to see, but if you look well at done. the top there, it's a different colour. Yeah. It's very hard to see that. Yeah, so... To keep hold of that. <coughs> I suppose you could use it for the glue and then it's not going to get that knackered anyway. I thought it was like a little thing for you. Mm. Nope, it goes there. Which makes the roof look 
rounded. Proper, it fills that gap. Mm-hmm. It's because there's loads of things I've put together, MDF things, where, the tea, where it's got a roof like that. And it you just, got a weird gap. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Not, not, I'm just thinking it is. If you yeah. ever, ever put that in, thought, there you go. If you're watching, good idea. One board, fully. Um, right, Krampus time. So, uh, we'll put on the legs first, I think. Um, traditionally, he has two legs, as most beings do. There goes one. <laughs> Uh, where's my glue gun? I was trying to do Just gonna put that there and put that there. Most quadrupeds, anyway. <laughs> Have four legs. I don't know what he is. You know what he looks most like, to mm. be fair? Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Boy, massive horns. Yes. So yeah. would it be a quadruped or would it be a biped? Is the question. D- don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is beast? I mean, does he have proper hands? He yes, does he does. Has yeah. He's, got he's, he's just got yeah. Claws, he's a biped. Isn't he? style, so, yeah. So we have him hooves, I think. Yeah. You're talking nonsense now. <laughs> Right, so those are the legs. Uh, let's go with the arms next. So we've got one arm there. She's got a sack. That's sort of what he's leaning on. That goes in. Like that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Looks like it. Yep. He's really sort of leaning forward. Yeah, it's like he's putting something under the tree, isn't it? Almost. Putting something under the tree. I don't want to know what. <laughs> Terrifying. So, if we just like that, let's sit there for a second. <sighs> have a look at the head. This is the head. Hello, children, have you been naughty? <laughs> what? <Eek. laughs> so, we've got horns. Horns? Horns. Was very posh? He has horns. Uh, I think that's that side. I'm going to write first time. Let's see if I do. Goat or something? Yeah, it's like a big angry goat. <laughs> man. Beast. Got my beast. Got my beast. <laughs> big man bear. <laughs> oh dear. Imagine scaring children with that. Be careful, children, or the goat man beast will come and get you. Big man bear. Big man beast. <laughs> This is meant to be. It's like. Do you have like an evil candy cane? Mm, looks like it. It's like a crook or something, isn't it? Like a shepherd's crook. Yeah. Just catching the children, put them in the bag. <laughs> Probably be children watching this, they're going, Mummy, Daddy! <laughs> what's a Krampus? <laughs> Don't know. Nothing. Don't. But what's a goat man beast? He's got a big crook that catches children, children. and puts them in bags. 
when your parents tell you the Krampus doesn't exist. <laughs> Remember, they're just trying to protect you. I mean, if it didn't exist, why would there be a mole of it? <clears throat> okay. There's <laughs> his tail. Finally. So creepy. It is. There's a few bits I need to fill and a few bits I need to file. Which I won't be doing until I come to finalise them all. But there we go. Creepy. I, don't, I just think this is so malafort all of them. Mm, very much so. Hello children. Have you been good? Come closer. <laughs> Why has he got a clock on his back? It's a cuckoo clock as well. I don't mm. know if that, that means anything. It's not like Father Time or something. He's got a couple of bears. Oh, teddy bears. Oh, looks like oh. sheep. <laughs> Let's just move those. Let's just move that. Let's see how much room he up. Loads. Mm. Yeah, it takes up mm. quite a bit of the room in there. Which is good. It's good. Nope. Don't have to fill it with too much stuff. Just to make his hovel look uninviting. Mm. Brilliant. This cool. is <laughs> awesome. I'm, I'm impressed. This was this is well worth it. Mm. Definitely. This is I didn't expect a Christmas themed thing. It's quite cool. I mean, it's still November. Yep. Obviously, this is the last one for this year as well. So mm. kind of uh, it makes sense. Kind of makes sense. But I do like it. This will be. This can become my top Christmas decoration. <laughs> Twenty nineteen. So hopefully, I'll, I'll get it done before Christmas. And if so I'll show it off. Mm -hmm. I need to include the tree. I'd like to include the wreath. I have to include at least two of these. Uh, maybe some Christmas cards on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people hang Christmas cards on the wall. Get some gruesome Christmas cards on the wall. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It would actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of like nailed to the wall. Nailed to the wall. Have a hand. Nailed hand to the wall with a hand like, ha happy Xmas on it or something. Happy Xmas, children. <laughs> <laughs> I have to end every sentence with children because it makes it about thirty times creepier. Okay. Than it needs to be. Happy Christmas. Children. Happy Christmas, children. See? Thirty percent more creepy. <laughs> Bang more more creepiness. <coughs> right. So that's the model I'm going to hopefully do before Christmas, if I can. At least before the next monster in January. Mm -hmm. uh, so the last one I quite like this one. It's cool. Was the orc. Let's move this out a little bit. And here he is. The Orc Warboss. As you can see on there, I've used some uh, smoke effects. So it hasn't escaped my attention there's a chimney on that other thing. <laughs> right, my two of using some smoke effects. And yeah, you did see that drop because he's a come off. Yay! So what I've done, I've put the original base underneath so I've wanted to see if I can actually still use him again. Because I think he's that good a model. Yes. I don't care as a third party model. We never play in Games Workshop anyway. No. So we can use whatever models we download, please. We do. This guy is just awesome. Mm -hmm. He is my go to war boss now, to be fair. Uh, because if you've seen my old Orc army, it's got a mega boss in it. Uh, he's about yeah big. Mm -hmm. He's the boss. This guy's going to be my boss now. <laughs> he's just so cool. He just looks boss. Yeah. He's boss boss. Boss boss. Total boss. I just love this model. It's, it's, just it's so a cool. cracky model. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes. And then, then it formed a head. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Uh, and if you get a close look at the base, I used the uh, 
the scatter that they gave us. I, used to, I really like this scatter actually, uh, it looked very good on things like an endor base or anywhere you want a bit of grass. I went for a bit more sort of um, rough sort of boulders mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, tried to mix a few things in, I used some of the water effect that I had in there to like make it look like it created a crater. I wanted to make it look like it had been there for a little while and actually filled with water after some rain had come down. Knocked down a fence in the process, but was still smoking because it's an orc weapon and it's still smoking away there. Uh, so I think that's quite a nice little diorama base. Cut up the, uh, the plastic metal effect to be like something the orcs would put down. Uh, who knows why? One of the orcs. And there we go. So I just thought it looked pretty cool. But I really like this mm -hmm. So there we go. So that's the last monster. Cool. cool. Very cool. That's possibly my favourite model I've got so far. Mm -hmm. uh, both because I can actually use it because I left it on its base. It's a game that I play, it's an army that I collect. Mm. And just because the model's amazing. And the options that came with it were cool as well to have the axe or to have the skull on the top, making it look a bit like Gaskell through a racker. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was really good. I mean, it was very 40k ish. So I'm hoping I can do as good a job with this Krampus. I know he's not as big, but the fact in this little diorama. Yeah. Think, yeah. Oh. Cool. If I can, though, uh, I will do. I might do a little just Christmas video of the Krampus. Cool. Uh, oh, be cool. I've got some cool ideas, mate. Right. Where we go? I can't say cool anymore. I've used up my cool subscription. <laughs> for, I just said it twice then. <gasps> It's like a charge now. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so that is our monster one. Mm -hmm. I said there won't be another these till January, uh, but then we've got normal villains and heroines acid, acid drops, which will be coming at the beginning of December, but it's sort of like mid November now. Mm. It's sort of like the dates have slipped back a bit. Um, that's fine, it gives me more time to paint them, <laughs> so I don't mind as long as they come. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing next, is getting the ones done from that. So if you haven't seen those videos, please have a look at that. Uh, in the meantime, there's more Legion stuff going up, and uh, we will have lots of painting to do. Yes. Yes. So stay tuned for wherever comes up. Uh, maybe Battle Sisters. Who knows? Right. Battle oh, Sisters! <laughs> oh, no. Yay! Don't know. Right, so you guys take care. See you later. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Everywhere. children. Don't have nightmares. Don't well, fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. That's a good one. Yeah. Yes. I can't think of anything else creepy to say. No. Yeah. Apart from a balloon coming up and going pop and blood coming out. Yeah. I could do that effect on the video maybe. No. no it'd be <laughs> weird. Yeah. No. No. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>